Hello, this is GeotechLan, and today I'll be using the Ubuntu Touch OS, but this time I'll be running Ubuntu Touch 16.04 development version. So this um, version here is not the stable branch of Ubuntu Touch, so expect a lot of bugs here on this here and if you want to actually see a version or a video of me running the stable version which works really well I'll put a link in the description below and so let me show you what version I'm running here let me go to about and as you can see right here it's release candidate 275 Ubuntu Touch 16.04 long-term support. So this is based on Ubuntu 16.04 long-term support. And also this is the Nexus 5 phone. As you could probably see here. Yeah, it doesn't show it, but you guys get the idea. So in summary, when I first installed 16.04 on the phone, it seemed to be in good working order like it it looked as exactly as you see now all the apps were still there i didn't have to wipe uh, any of my data here and the biggest thing that doesn't work right now is the open store so if you can see here the apps don't show the interesting thing is you could actually still install apps um, like this one you just gotta press install. It will seem like it doesn't do anything, but let's see if I can find the name of this. I'm not even sure what this is. Some sort of forum. Let's see if I can find it somewhere here. Yeah, look, forum. So it, uh, some apps do install here and and actually this this will probably work let's try it yeah it works it loads so the ubuntu store itself it doesn't look right but you could still install certain apps um it's just it's very it's not practical at the moment um this app here doesn't work so right now I should be playing some sound if I hit play it'll just go back to this main screen but apps like this do work so they work as intended uh, most of the apps I have at least work apps like Duolingo doesn't work the Twitter app doesn't work and one other thing too is that as you can see, it tries to pull up. There's a lot more apps that are not showing up. It tends to happen when I when I put it in landscape mode. So let's flip it here. And so these are the these are the apps that don't show. These last like eight or so apps, and it's almost like there's a little bug here too. And so if I flip it. Usually what ends up happening is that, but usually when I first boot it up, it works fine until I put it in landscape mode, flip it back, and then this happens. Um, but again, this is not such a big deal because, I mean, at least I could still access all the apps. All right, so let's see what else doesn't work. Oh, so the camera. The camera works, takes pictures. And they load but so let's actually take a picture here all right let's just take a random image so I flip it you'll see it'll show it and I can go to the gallery and whatever video however it doesn't work so you should see the little red dot you can't really see it from there there you go but if I try to record It'll seem like it's recording for like a second and then it'll just freeze. 
See how it just kind of froze in place. And if I try to play it. So yeah, it it plays the sound now. Before the last few updates, it wasn't playing any sound at all, but now it at least plays sound, but there's still an issue with that. So GPS says it works, but it doesn't. If I try loading Google Maps here. It'll try to think here, but then it'll throw a little question mark, meaning it wasn't able to find my location. There also seems to be an issue with the time. Right now it, it isn't 3.50 p.m. When I go to the settings to try to change it, it changes for this session, but if I reboot it, it just goes back to whatever time zone this is. That's something else that doesn't work. Um, the file manager wasn't working for quite some time. I would click files. And we just kind of show a white screen. Uh, I don't want to delete a file. So let me go back. And part of why that wasn't working here, every time I would go to open ROM, it would just go blank. The interesting thing is one time, one of these updates, I didn't get, when I would open the file manager and I would exit out of it, I would get two folders of file manager. One of them was working, one of them was blank, and I deleted that blank one. I don't know if I, I was supposed to do that, but I did. So in summary, I think the biggest things that don't work is the open store. Um, you can install apps, but it definitely uh, doesn't work as intended. GPS doesn't seem to work yet, and doesn't this phone doesn't uh, record and play videos properly. I think those are the biggest things that don't work yet um, but remember this is the 1604 version this is an unstable version there is an ubuntu touch version 15.04 that is stable that you can download and all those things work so thank you guys for watching i'll try to give you a monthly update on this version of ubuntu touch so keep an eye out for those videos don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.